Guys, I have a confession to make. I don't like air coolers. Yes, I know, please. Crucify me. Uh, burn me at the stake. They just don't keep my CPUs cool. Like, okay, air coolers. They've, they've been around for the longest time now. I, I don't really know how long they've been around, but check this out. That's an air cooler. I mean, look at it. Look at how small it is. This, this one came with my uh, Ryzen 5 uh, 1600X? Yeah, yeah, Ryzen 5 1600X. I have its cousin. This one came with my 3700X. But air coolers have been around for the longest time now. Um, pretty sure they were the first kind of, I guess, tech cooler. But again, they just don't keep my CPUs cool. At least like what I want to do with my CPUs, you know? Now you're able to get bigger air coolers, you know? I mean, check this one out. Ugh, this one's so dusty. But this is a Corsair A500, and ew. This is the first kind of air cooler that I actually bought from Corsair. I took its fans off because I'm using them. But it's a uh, four heat pipe, yeah, four heat pipe. Uh, tower cooler. Um, this one doesn't really work too well. <laughs> so, uh, just gonna put that one away. But I just prefer water cooled. You know, I prefer all in one cooling specifically because you don't have to deal with the custom loop and stuff. Now I've done custom loop stuff before. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if you want to check out those videos, uh, right here, but today is a very special day because I am trying out cooler master for the first time. When it comes to CPU cooling, at least. I've used their fans, and their fans just kind of fall apart on me. Or fell apart on me, I don't know why. But, boom. Hyper 212. Don't ask why this is the first time I'm trying out this cooler, because this cooler has been out for the longest time now, and I'm really late to the party. I like the art. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. This is, this is pretty cool. I like how it, um tells you everything. I picked this up from Best Buy for around like, I think 30 bucks, yeah. And I wanted the black one because I didn't really uh, feel like having any more ARGB to deal with. But yeah, this is looking pretty cool so far. I like it a lot. And again, this is the first time I'm trying out Cooler Master for their CPU cooling. And I've, I've heard a lot of good things about this cooler. You know, a lot of people like it. A lot of people like how uh, cool it keeps their CPU, <laughs> get it. And, well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna be seeing if uh, they really are the cooler master. So, um, let me uh, go open up the box. Oh, also, oh shit, I got new thermal paste. Yeah, XTM60. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this with this and see uh, if it really makes a difference. I still have the TM30 uh, left over, over there, but you know what? Let me know if you guys want to see a video on that to see if there's actually any difference between the two thermal pastes. All right, let's open this up. Oh, well actually, you know what? The tape was half coming off earlier. It was just kind of, <laughs> I don't even think I need to cut it. I think I could just take it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this side was, you, you can see it, it was just like coming off from the box. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't even have to cut it. Okay, let me um, open this up. I'm trying really hard not to destroy the box because I really want to keep it. So I'm just going to uh, give it some creases and stuff. There we go. Okay. Just open up. Just open. There we go. Cool. 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 Wow. Very well packaged. I like this a lot. Hyper 212 Black. Okay. Cool. Cool. Visit our website at www.coolermaster.com. Nice. Oh, this is the instruction manual. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it says manual right there. Oh my god. Okay, I'll look at that later. Warranty. Warranty. Is it on the other side? Yeah, warranty information. Okay, yeah, I'm not reading that. Ah, yes, the bread and butter. So that's the heatsink, fan, and accessories. Let's let's take the heatsink out first. 
Let me, let me get, give me the heat sink. Hey, I want the heat sink. Why is the heat sink coming out of the, gimme. You know what, fine, you win. I'll grab the accessories then. Okay, ooh, nice. Yeah, this is a, oh, hey, look, thermal paste. <laughs> wow, I'm still getting used to this because Corsair, the, they put pre-applied thermal paste. They don't give you like your own tube. I like that. There's the, oh my God. Wally, chill out. What the, what the heck? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, who's calling me? Hello? Have, so, the car turns on, but then it dies. Damn. Get out of the... What the heck? Ah. Okay. Well. So that makes life easier. Oh. That's why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this looks great. Ew. So is that my fingerprint? Does this come off? No, no, it doesn't come off. Man, that sucks. It would be cool if this could come off like that. But, um, oh. Peel off label before you use it. Yeah, I, I, I'd hope people actually did that. Huh. Ah. Oh, wait, it's clipped on. It's it's clipped on. You could you could technically take that off, but I'm not gonna bend the heat sink because I am planning on keeping this. Yeah, ew. It's not fingerprint resistant, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, my fingerprints are going to be all over it, and that's how you claim your technology. Alright, let's check out the fan. Check out the fan, too. Whoa. Oh my god. This is the most high quality fan I have ever felt in a very long time. Wow. Hold on. How fast does this go? 2500 RPM. Well, wow. kind of want to try that out, but um, yeah, the cable feels warranty void if removed. What? If you what? If I remove this, what? Well, I mean, I guess you wouldn't really see that, but like, if you're gonna connect it to your motherboard's CPU fan port, then that's gonna be very much visible. But wow, yeah, I like this. This this feels great. I really like this. Um. So it would just sit right here. You could have it in the push or you could have it in the pull config. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely gonna test it in the push config. Oh, what the? Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. Yeah, definitely gonna have it in the push config. So um, I like the unboxing experience. I like how everything was nicely packed together. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Oh man, little doggy bag of goodies. What are the screws for? Let me take a look at this thermal paste. What kind of thermal paste is this? Is this like Corsair's, or not Corsair's, like Cooler Master's Cryofuse. Oh, you guys can't see that. Ah, there we go. Cryofuse. Yeah. I don't know how much is in here, but hopefully there's enough. This isn't here, it's down there, so that means that there's probably like that much or that much or something i mean you don't really need a lot you're going to be applying it once or twice depending on how you do it so and there's some screws in here that i'm going to keep in here uh, oh wait oh these screws are for the to screw it down on the heat sink itself okay i don't think anything is gonna beat that bit phoenix intel bracket that i felt i swear that bracket that came with the bit phoenix cooler is the most premium intel backplate i have ever felt yeah the fan clips oh hey look they included uh two more just in case you wanted to do a push pull nice i like that and then we have the uh actual brackets here it's kind of obvious which one is uh amd and which one's intel so i'm assuming the amd one would go like that or like this i'm definitely gonna read up on those instructions before i even try doing anything and yep the intel ones these feel pretty good i like the way they look um 
there's definitely going to be a lot of tension on them that's for sure these look like some pretty tough springs and yeah okay cool so I'm definitely gonna be using these no i think that's everything yep is there oh look there's some complimentary cardboard at the bottom of the box I'm definitely going to be munching on this later. This stuff is tasty, I swear to God. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook this up onto uh, my test rig. And I'm going to be seeing what it can do. So I'm going to be doing my usual tests on it. Uh, I don't really know what to use as a reference. Um, to be honest, I don't really think I'm just going to be using anything as a reference. I'm just going to, you know, throw this on there raw and see what it can do. So... Just, you know, have a little bit of fun. This is the first time I'm trying out Cooler Master, you know, when it comes to their CPU coolers at least. And if this makes me happy, you know, I, I, I might purchase some more of their stuff. Man, I can't get over the way this looks. Oh my god. Hold on. I have another CPU cooler that I bought a while ago. Let, let, let me go get it. <laughs> you guys remember this? Yeah, there's some stuff happened to it. Don't worry about it. This is the Vetru V5, and I bought this like a long time ago. And I did a uh, comparison video, uh, this cooler against the Wraith Prism, I think. I don't really remember which one won, but yeah, I still have it. And it, it, it's still rocking hard. This thing still cools everything. And I would say this is the second single tower air cooler that I bought. Yeah, it's just nice to have in my collection. I bought this when I didn't really appreciate technology all that much, and <sighs> I, I, I still hate my past self for that. But um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's nice to see both of them. This one is slightly bigger and has more uh, heat pipes than this one. So uh, well, let me let me go ahead and throw it in the rig and see what this can do. <sighs> well, time to go get it. Yeah, here it is. Disconnect everything on the back. Yeah, this totally isn't my dad's computer. Nope, not at all. Uh-uh, it is my test rig. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, almost hit the camera. Yeah. There we go. Well, guys, I got the computer here, and uh, let's go ahead and read these instructions on which, uh, Oh, great. It's that style everybody fucking loves. Okay. Where is it? What did it say? Okay, that's Intel. What about, uh, what about AMD? What is it? Oh, right here. So, ah, it goes on top, not on the bottom. I was about to make that mistake. Okay, so it goes with it pointing out. All right, got it. All right, so... I'm kind of at a dilemma right now. I don't know if I should use this or this. Well, I mean, actually, it would be a lot better if I just use this, because, well, I want to simulate uh, what, you know, a, a new person uh, using the cooler would do. So I guess I'll use this instead. You guys, when I when I took out the the thermal paste, th 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 there was there was already a little bit on there. Damn it, focus. There we go. Th th there was just a little bit on there. Oh man. Let's uh let's add some of this on there. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna remove that one yet because oh, it's gonna be such a pain on here. Always install your stuff before you install the motherboard onto the computer. And then in install everything on the motherboard. Alright, let's just stick it on the middle right there. Get out of the tube. There we go. Yeah, just Right there in the middle. Uh huh. All right, that's good. That's good. Now get get off the tube. Okay, cool. Hey guys, check this out. So the clips for the fan are like a slip-on kind of thing. They don't rattle around or come off. That's really really good. Wow. Nicely done. Very nicely done, Cooler Master. Well, guys, I got the heat sink put on there. Looks really nice. And I really like the way it looks, honestly. <laughs> like, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> you know, this monitor is so old. Absolutely perfect for benchmarks. Yeah. 
It's currently 4.30 in the morning. I got tired. Well, I mean, it it worked. Like, I, it, it kept the CPU pretty cool. Um, it did its thing. And uh, I, I got a little lazy. I did one test, but the CPU was overclocked. It was overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, because, and if I get anywhere near 4.5, it gets a little unstable. But it kept it cool. That was the point. It kept it cool. And it did a pretty good job at that. Um, idle temperatures were pretty good, yeah. Sitting around like 35, 40 Celsius, just kind of going around there. And then uh, max temperatures, I think it hit, was like 79 Celsius, or I'll go look at my charts um, or the recorded data after I'm done recording this. But this fan, th th this fan, this fan, <laughs> is the quietest fan that I have ever used, like, when it came to computer building. I mean, obviously, the, the fans that I'm using in my computer right now are the uh, ML RGB Elites, and they're pretty quiet, you know? But, like, okay, these are quieter than MLs. At least this is quieter than MLs. Um, the fan reached around, like, I think, 21, 2200 RPM, and it stayed relatively quiet the entire time. And it, that, that was, wow, that was wild. I was like, what the heck? I'd never heard an air cooler this quiet before. <laughs> so it, 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 was, it, was, it was pretty nice to see. And it's funny because this company was the same company that partnered with AMD to make the, the Wraith coolers. So those are kind of quiet. Not really. I mean, especially like the Wraith Prism. The Wraith, the Wraith Prism could get pretty freaking loud. But, like, wow. It, I am genuinely surprised. This is definitely worth, like, the, the $40 that I purchased it for. Uh, this will definitely be an upgrade over, like, any stock cooler that, you know, you buy. So, I kind of want to I kind of wanna see if this will perform just as good as some of the AIOs that I have. I don't know, because... These temperatures, they were very close to some of the all-in-one cooler temperatures that I recorded a little while ago. So I'm like, huh, maybe that's something I can make a video on. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll have to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching me and supporting me. We hit 700 subscribers a few days ago, and that was just <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> but really, I appreciate all the support that you guys give me, and I really appreciate every single one of you subscribing to the channel and you know commenting liking my videos just being there keeping the channel afloat that's like that's the biggest thing that that is more than i can ask for you guys are making someone's dream come true you know i really appreciate it anyways stay tuned for my other videos and i'll see you guys in the next one